dear God, we tend to believe, as did Jesus' disciples, that following him means that we will be rewarded on earth and in heaven for our faithfulness. We hope that means that you will protect us and grant us the rewards that we yearn for deep in our hearts. The lectionary readings today remind us that following Jesus is no easy task and carries only one real guarantee, that nothing else in our lives is ultimately worth doing. Even when we worry about the personal consequences of our commitment to you, let us rest in the sure knowledge that since the beginning of creation, the universe has remained in your hands. We can trust in the love that you have always extended to your people, regardless of their racial heritage, nationality, religion, gender, or political party. Help us see that beyond our differences with others, to embrace what we all share as your children. Today, we especially pray for our sisters and brothers who suffer because of war, natural disasters, political strife, illness, and poverty. We especially pray for children who have lost their health, their families and communities, and the will to live. Open our eyes to see how each of one of us can serve as your hands and feet in this pain-filled world, bringing hope, joy, and peace however we can. Send your healing spirit to those on our prayer list, especially Dick Rydell, Sherry Topfer, Cameron Laramore, Donna Glass, Brooke Lincoln, David Ellis, Lindsay Goff, Kevin Sigmund, Riley Crystal, Ann Nofziger, Marianne White, Judy Willoughby, Eva Brewer, Ryan Griffith, Evelyn and Olivia Nemesek, Walter Brueggemann, Salem Maisie Hart, Wendy Jones, and for those you name. We remember those who have died, especially those we now name before you. Heavenly Mother and Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.